guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead today and do lesson 13.2 on chapter 13 in your GoMath series. Now 13.2 is a different than 13.1. 13.1 was on perimeter. Okay, now remember perimeter is adding sides, uh, side plus side plus side plus side. Um, area, however, think of it like an array. Um, you're multiplying. So you're multiplying the length times the width. Okay, um, or the base times the height. Um, let's take a look at the essential question for this lesson. It says, how can you use a formula to find the area of a rectangle? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and read the unlock the problem just so that we can get a gist of what this lesson will be about. Okay, it says the base B of a two dimensional figure okay can be any side the height which is h is the measure of a perpendicular line remember perpendicular means 90 degree angles okay a perpendicular line segment from the base to the top of the figure so if you see these three examples right here you have uh your height and your base your base and your height this could be your base this is your height okay now remember again perpendicular lines and perpendicular line segments form right angles there's your little reminder right here okay um area however is the measure of the number of square units or of unit squares needed to cover a flat surface without gaps or overlaps a square unit is a square that is one unit long and one unit wide to find the area of the figure, count the number of unit squares inside the figure. What does that mean? Guys, it pretty much means area is everything that's inside. All of this, the inside. Perimeter is the around the shape, the around, okay, around something or the border of, okay. Uh, area is everything inside, kind of like laying uh, laying grass in a backyard or putting tile down on a floor you're covering the area which is the amount of square footage that's going to be covered okay um, let's go ahead and scroll down um, to the next set of questions um, on 13.2 it says how are the base height and area of a rectangle related how are they related well let's take a look at the table okay um looking at this first figure okay again remember what the um you know what the the examples were at the top right here um here you have really your height and down here is your base this is your height and this is your base this is your height and this is your base okay so you have an idea now they're saying well let's look at my base okay well my base here is one, two, three, four, five, five units. So that's why there's a five there. Now, if I count my height, what will be my height? It will be one, two, three. So we're going to write here three units, okay, units for the height. Now, to find the area, what are we doing? We're multiplying your base. Okay, five times your height. What is the height? The height is three. So we're doing five times three. Well, five times three is 15 square units. So the area of this particular figure is 15 square units. Now, if we go to the second shape, let's look at the second figure, okay? We have uh, same thing, base is your bottom and height, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and look at the base. Let's count the number of square units for the base. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So we're gonna write eight, eight units, okay? And then the height. One, two, two units. And then in order to find the area, what do we do? Base times height. So eight 
times 2. What is 8 times 2? 8 times 2 is 16. So what's my final answer? My final answer is that the area is 16 square units. Now we're going to go to the third shape. The third figure is a square. Okay. Well, that one's easy. Um, let's look at the base. Same thing, guys. Nothing has changed. We're doing base times height. So the base is going to be three units. And your height is also going to be three units. And how do I find my area? Multiply base times height. In this case, 3 times 3 is 9. So my answer is 9 square units. Okay. All right, let's go to the let's go to the next page so we can get some more practice. All right, so here on the next page, it says use a formula. You can use a formula to find the area. We just covered that. Okay, um, base times height. Same thing, guys. So let's look at this example. Um, use a formula to find the area of a rectangle and a square. All right, well, same thing, base. So we're going we're gonna to name this one the base, 6 feet. And this one we're going to name the height. So what are we going to do? We're going to make it simple and follow the rule. This rule is base times height. So it's 6. Whoops, sorry about my handwriting there. 6 times 2. That's it. So now I just have to multiply 6 times 2, find the product. My area is 12. So that means that the area of this particular uh, figure is 12 square feet. Okay? Feet because... It, it isn't, they are asking for feet, okay? So it is 12 square abbreviated feet. Let's move on to part B. Part B is the same thing. It's a square, so that one's easy because you know we're going to use the same number for both sides. So that means that the area is 2 for the base times 2 for the height. 2 times 2 equals 4. So what is my area? My area is four, okay, square, and M starts, stands for meters, square meters, and that's it, that's as simple as area. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to have you do a couple of problems to test it out, and uh, we're almost done, guys, it's just a very, very easy lesson, all right, so let's, let's practice some more. All right, let's go to the next page. All right, I'll go ahead and clear the screen for you. Okay. So here, um, here we have this figure, 11 centimeters by 13 centimeters. Okay, so let's you know what let's uh let's plug in that formula again what is my formula area equals base times height that is my formula okay so don't forget to use that formula again um base times height all right so we're going to say 11 centimeters times 13 centimeters okay now, for those of you that need a little bit more practice on multiplication, remember it's 11 times 13. Okay, we're going to multiply the ones place first. 3 times 1, which is 3. Stay in the ones place, multiply 3 times the tens place at the top. 3 times 1, which is 3. Automatically, guys, put that little zero there. Why? Because we're moving one more space over. Remember that. So here we have... Uh, now in the tens, now we're doing 10 times the ones. 1 times 1 in this case is 1. And 1 times 1, in other words, 10 times the tens, we have 1. So now all we have to do is add. So we are going to add the ones place. Then we're going to go ahead and add the tens place. And then finally the hundreds place. And our area is 143 square 
centimeters. Okay, um, let's go to the next problem. All right, so the next problem I decided to do with you guys is question 11, the go deeper questions, because uh, this is a multi-step word problem that also involves area. So let's go ahead and see what, what, what this is about. Um, Terry's rectangular yard is 15 meters by 18 meters. So that means I'm just going to go ahead and do somewhere around here. Um, I'm going to draw a rectangle, okay? And this one's going to be Terry's rectangle. Um, it's 15 meters by 18 meters. So that means that one side is 15 and the um, other side or the base is going to be 18. Okay. So we have 15 meters by 18 meters. Now, um, Todd's, okay, well, of course, now they both start with, it, so we're just going to have to write Todd inside, okay? So Todd, here we go. Uh, Todd's rectangular yard is 20 meters by 9 meters. So we're going to find 20 meters by 9 meters meters all right so we have two people we have terry and we have todd one yard is 15 meters by 18 and the other one is 20 by 9. the the question is really asking um there's key words in there too um it says how much greater how much greater is the area of terry's yard than todd's yard if you look at those keywords, those keywords, how much greater, what does that mean, guys? It means to subtract, subtract. All right, so the first thing we need to do is find the area. We're going to use the same thing. We're going to use area equals base times height. Um, so we're going to do Todd first. Uh, it's going to be 20 times 9. That's it. So we're going to do 20 times 9. 0 times 9 is 0, and 9 times 2 is 18. Now we're going to move over to Terry, and his is 15 times 18. So, well, we're going to have to multiply 15 times 18. Let's multiply that. 5 times 8, or 8 times 5. Um, we have what? Okay, good. So we have 40. Okay. And then uh, 8 times 1 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put a little 0. Go into the 1 now in the tens place. 1 times 5 is 5. Remember to cross out that 4 so you don't uh, go ahead and add it one more time by mistake. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Okay. So we're going to add all this together, and it's going to give you 0. This is 7, and this is 2. Okay. But since that says how much greater, what we really have to do is a last and final step, which is get the 270 minus, because it says how much greater, minus 180. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And let's start with the ones, place 0 minus 0 is 0. I cannot do 7 minus 8, so I'm going to have to borrow one from the 2. That guy becomes a 1, and the 7 becomes a 17. 17 minus 8, or you can think what number plus 8 gives me 17. In this case, it's 9. Therefore, that's my final answer. How much greater is the area of Terry's yard than Todd's yard? The difference in, in uh, area is 90. Okay, square meters. And that's it for area, guys. Um, practice some more and, um, you know, remember, uh, remember your formulas, area equals base times height. Okay. Um, and that's it. All right, guys. See you again. Bye.